Hi, I'm Mark from Platinum LED Grow Lights. I'm very proud today to bring to you our new series of grow lights, the XML2. As you can see, we designed this series with a few different goals in mind. First of all, we wanted a one light for a tent solution, either a three x three or a four x four, even stretching the P9 up to a five x five for vegetative growth. We also gave you white light flexibility. This is for added boost in a very small area, as well as giving you the ability to view your plants under normalized white light, or to also use them as a standalone feature for germination and seedlings. This is all about flexibility, one light solution, and covering a greater area for a little bit less money. Now, as you can see, we use the existing 12 band spectrum in each one of the clusters. We have the bloom on separate clusters and the veg on separate clusters. In the middle of each one of these clusters, there are two 10 watt XML2 Creed ships. This is again running interdependently of the rest of them, giving you that added flexibility. Now, a very common question that we're running into is, which is better? Is the XML2 series replacing the P series, vice versa? Which is better? The answer is, it's up to you. What are your goals and objectives? The XML2 series was designed with coverage in mind. As we know, the most important factor when laying out your room with LED grow lights is the actual light fitting to your grow space. We can only equate HPS power or HID power in LED grow light equivalent so much. The most important factor is the core and max coverage rating for each individual light. The P4 XML2 has a core coverage rating of 3x3, stretched up to a 4x4 in vegetative growth, or if you're growing plants that don't have as high a lighting intensity requirements. The P9 XML2 core coverage rating is exactly 4x4, stretched up to a 5x5 for vegetative growth, or again, plants that don't have quite a high lighting intensity requirement. So which is better for you? Again, it comes down to your individual goals and objectives. First of all, let's look at the P-Series. The P-Series is still, without a doubt, the highest par per watt LED grow light on the market today. This is in tune part to the overall design of it. We have a very intense light, extremely intense. Now, intensity and power come at a little bit of price of coverage, just slightly. The XML2 series, as you can see, splits the clusters up into a greater space giving you a little bit more coverage. Now, to be honest, at a little bit of sacrifice of intensity. So as we know, intensity and coverage both matter. The most important thing is figuring out what your overall objective is. Are you trying to cover a greater space with a little bit less money in a more exact fashion? Or are you trying to give the highest par per watt the greatest intensity at any price, any budget? A common question that we're receiving these days is, so which is better? Is the XML2 series replacing the P series? No. The simple answer is it has to do with your individual goals and objectives. We created the XML2 series lights to cover a greater area for less money. We also gave it the square output. Do you want one light for one tent? Do you want to pay a little bit less money to cover a greater area? Do you want the white light flexibility? If the answer is yes, the XML2 series light is your goal. If you're looking to cover your area with the highest intensity that you possibly can at any budget level, then the P series light is what you want. The goal in any situation is to cover your grow space efficiently. You need to be matching the core coverage rating to your actual grow space. Intensity only goes so far. The thing that matters in the end is covering things correctly and following your individual objectives. So another common question we receive these days is which light these would compare to as far as the P-Series. As you can see, for the P4 XML2, the direct comparison is as close as relative over here, the P450. Which light is stronger and which light is better? As far as intensity goes, the P450 is actually the stronger light. However, it doesn't have quite the coverage area of the P4 XML2. If you're looking to cover an exact 3x3 area, you're probably better suited with the P4 XML2. If you're looking to tile lights in, in a fashion over a certain amount of area, with the greatest intensity, you're looking for the P series. Again, it's all what your individual goal is. As for the P9 XML2's closest cousin in the P-Series, we would say it would be a 2 by P600 setup, as both of these options give a 4 x 4 or even 5 x 5 coverage perfectly. The difference is, is you can now cover a 4 x 4 area for about 30% less money than the 2 by P600s. However, 2 by P600s will give you about 30% greater intensity level with a little bit more flexibility to spread the lights out. Again, it all depends on what your individual goals are. If you're looking for a one light, one solution for your 4x4 space or even your 5x5, 
added white light flexibility, coverage at a little bit less cost, you're looking for the P9 XML2 light. If you're looking for a little bit greater intensity at any coverage level, at any budget level, you're looking for the P-Series. Feel free to come to our website at PlatinumGrowLights.com at any time. We'll show you how the XML2 series lights as well as the P-Series are the most powerful LED grow lights in the market today, thanks to the highest par per watt consumed of any other LED grow light and the most efficient 12-band spectral output, now with added Cree XML2 white light flexibility. Thanks so much.